Hey everyone, so I'm finally back with another new episode, and this time around I'm going to be approaching this a little differently, in that starting with this episode I'm going to focus on specific skills and techniques that you can use on your photos as opposed to doing the longer full photo edits. So hopefully with these quicker videos that'll be more useful to you guys and you'll have time to take a look at these and digest the skills one by one, uh, or just specifically look at the ones that you need. Um, now for this video, I wanted to focus on an issue I see in a lot of photos that people post and that's removing dust and various other spots that you may have. Um, it's pretty easy to fix and there's a couple different ways to go about it. Um, I'm actually going to start by showing you how you can do it in Lightroom and then I'll also show you how to do it in Photoshop. Um, but it's, it's a really easy, couple different easy ways that you can do this and it really helps uh, give a nice polished look to your photo. So let's start in Lightroom. Um, I've already pre-selected a photo that I had that has some spots in it. And you can see I've got spots here on the left and there's a couple over here on the right. And these are really easy to take care of in Lightroom. And the easiest way to do that is to come over here on your toolbar and choose the spot removal tool and we're just going to select that and you'll see I have a, a nice circle and I just click on the spot that I want to get rid of and it automatically will get rid of the spot. I'll just do one so you can see and the spot that I had it's now gone. Um, also what you can do if you're not happy with where it samples from, you can just move this circle that it's selecting from. It's basically sourcing from a spot where there, there is a clean area to fix the spot that you have. So you see I can get rid of another spot like that. And the other thing you can do is if you use your bracket keys on your keyboard, you can increase or decrease the size of your circle as you go along, so you can make it just big enough to cover just the spot that you're healing. And you see I did a smaller one there and cleaned that up very nicely. Um, so that's how you can take care of those in Lightroom. You see I've still got a couple more. I'm not going to do all of them. But let's take a look at Photoshop and I'll show you a couple different ways you can approach it as well. So here I am in Photoshop. And the first thing I'm going to do is pull open the spot healing brush tool. And I'm going to zoom in on one of the spots that I have. And I'm just going to increase the size of my brush to be larger than the circle that I'm trying to fix or the spot that I'm trying to fix. And just click on the spot. And it's gone. Easy as that. Now, another way you can do it, you can see, like, this is really close to the flare. So it's kind of, sometimes it's problematic, sometimes it isn't. It actually worked all right there. But another way you can do it is if you take your lasso tool and you make a selection around the spot, then hit Shift and F5, and it'll pull up this dialog box, and you want to choose Content Aware and Color Adaptation. Make sure that's checked. Click OK, and you see it also goes through the spot. And then another way that you can go about it, which I use this if it's like something that's really close to an edge, which can be problematic with a content aware fill, or you want the spot healing tool, because sometimes if you do that, it'll, it'll sample from an edge and you'll get kind of a weird messed up fix. Um, but what you can do is you can take the patch tool and you can draw around your spot and then you drag your selection to a clean area and it actually samples from the clean area and gets rid of the spot. Let's see, this is another big area. I just drag and I just cleaned up all those spots and you can just go about it that way and clean all those up. So anyways, this was just a quick video I wanted to create for you guys uh, that you can use to clean up spots in your images. Um, here, let me show you the final one after I clean everything up. And you'll see using 
those techniques. I got rid of all the spots in the sky. It's perfectly clean and got a nice uh, professional looking image when you're done. Uh, so I hope this helps some of you guys out. Uh, leave some comments below for what you'd like to see in the next videos. Like I say, I'm going to go through and hit on a bunch of different techniques that you guys can use. So if there's something in particular you'd like to see, uh, leave me a comment or shoot me an email and uh, I'll be sure to do one of those in the next video. Thanks guys.